I'm Dave. And I'm Marie. And we're the Old School Soulmates. And we have a What's Sold video for you today. Let's get started with these photonics. Uh, yeah, this is not a brand that I buy very often because I wasn't familiar, but they were just like pretty much brand new. So that's the reason I picked them up. So, yep, they're, I mean, they're one of those orthopedic brands, you know, so... I looked them up. They they do sell, and they were a really they were <laughs> they were a men's size eleven, six e. That's six, as in five plus one six. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> extremely extremely wide, you know. So we picked those up. Yeah. He didn't sell them for a ton of money, twenty nine ninety five, but they were they were an unusual shoe. So yeah. in really good shape too. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty much new. One other thing on those photonics, okay. just so you know, they would have sold for more, but when I got them home, they had a smoke smell to them. Mm. That happens. These were never worn. They're brand new shoes. But when I uh, brought them home after they were in the bag and I, you know, because sometimes you just don't notice it in the store. So I deduct a good either 10 to $20 sometimes off the price because that's my mistake. So I'm... Very happy to get twenty nine ninety five for those. So yeah. yeah. Okay. This was a uh, I don't it was I don't even remember where I got this from. But it was a golf shirt shirt uh, from Alabama, of course, Auburn Tigers. The uh it was just in excellent shape and the size. The the, the size is the key here. Triple XL. So long sleeve tan golf. And it was brand new with tags. So when I come across that new with tag stuff, I, you know, I, I do tend to buy it. Yeah, and being Auburn, it's at least a school people have heard of. You know, and we're close to them. Like and, a local you know, community college yeah. or something might not be as good of a buy. Yeah. This is a Baltimore Orioles. Some of this stuff's hard to figure out, guys, what it is. So I have to use the power of the Internet here. So they said it was a batting pullover. Thermabase short sleeve um sold for twenty dollars it didn't have a lot of graphics on it or anything you know i don't know if i'd buy one of these again but it's majestic and yeah. it's a good brand too, and it's so. vintage because yeah. that's the vintage series you know but so. it just didn't you know i had a very simple little bird on there so you know it just some of the more a lot more embroidery and stuff go for a little bit more when you get into the sports things we, we go on these runs with the sports stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a few few sports in this one, I think. Yeah. Here's, uh, if you consider driving fast cars a sport, I guess. This uh, is a sporting one. The Corvette Stingray yeah. uh, shirt. Yeah. And you remember where we got this from? Or? Just picked it up at, at, uh, at, at the um, thrift store. So, like a Goodwill, right? Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is the problem with this one, the, the customer, you know, they gave us a good review and everything, but um, it says 3XL on it, but it, it really, he said it was very, very small. So I think it's a little on the vintage side, you know, maybe, you know. Yeah, sometimes the older a, sizes weren't quite as big. We, yeah. We hadn't had as many cheeseburgers back then. as Really we nice shirt, though. I mean, it really was. <laughs> This is the Masters. So you're going to see this logo on a lot of polos and things like that. This was um, a windbreaker, a golf windbreaker pullover. I think it snapped at the neck, you know, just, you know, typical golf shirt. When it gets cool out on the course, they throw it over and then they can take it off. The Masters logo, it's, you know, it's, it seems like the price on those is coming down lately. Yeah. But this is the Masters collection. And um, with the Masters logo. So sometimes you'll get a Masters logo on a different brand. But this is Masters all the way around. So we get these for $4.99. Snap neck, 2XL. You know, and, and you know, it's prominent Masters everywhere. So for $45, that's a good turnaround. Yeah. Pair of Clark's flip-flops. Yeah. I was, I didn't have these any length of time. I, I mean, I, were, I think three days something yeah. like that yeah they're they, really good shape. yeah they I mean, were like brand new, new. Yeah. i just had never even seen a pair of these and i'm like eh, you know whatever i'll buy them i should have one probably listed them for more or but you know i think yeah. i don't know what they charge me for them but yeah so basic shirt another car shirt a uh 
vintage. <laughs> I would yeah. have to say it's vintage. Because it's um, a Saturn. Because it's a Saturn. <laughs> a lot of those. And three million and counting. So I guess that was, they sold three million Saturns maybe? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the UAW. So yeah. we live... Spring Hill, in, Tennessee, where they make uh, a lot of automated. where they make the Saturn. They make Saturn. That's where they were made. The GM plant there, yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, that's where the seats. That's where they were made. It's made in the USA. It's obviously vintage. Again, Saturns yeah. haven't been sold in many years. A lot of times, when you see made in the USA, that's a clue that it's yeah. that you might want to look at it a little harder. It's it's it could be vintage because they don't make a lot of shirts in the USA anymore. But. But when you come across things that, you know, like if you came across an Oldsmobile right now, Pontiac, yeah. those are, the, the, they don't make, they any don't make yeah. anymore, yeah. you know? I mean, you're not going to come across an Etzel Polo, but, you know, these type well, of things. We have sold an Oldsmobile Polo. Yeah, you know, absolutely. An Oldsmobile, uh, yeah. uh, like men's, um, like a. A salesman's pullover sweater. Remember right. that yeah, V-neck sweater? Thing? Somebody yeah. bought it for their dad, who was an Oldsmobile salesman back in the day. Right, so. exactly. That kind know. of stuff, you really, if you're getting yeah. it for a good price, you really should pick it up because yeah. you're going to get at least probably thirty dollars for it. Yeah. I mean, we got twenty-five for this, but this was just a plain old little polo, you know. Yeah, anything anything car related usually does well. I mean, you know, well, not anything, but but uh, yeah. But car related, if especially if it's cars that aren't in production anymore, that's or, probably a good. Or song. the envy cars, like <laughs> yeah. the Corvettes, Corvettes and Porsches. Porsche and yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah. This is Ale Ale Alegria, is what these are. They, you have to look up the the names. There's different ones. These are the Palomas. These were like brand spanking new for being gold metallic. There's very very little wear on these. Um, real popular shoe, very comfort shoe. These, a lot of nurses can wear these as well. They come in all kinds of crazy patterns and styles and everything. But yeah, I had a quick turnaround on these. I picked those up at our thrift store. So they were $5.99 and turned around and sold them for $49.95. Yep. Right. That's our Predators. This yep. is the Nashville's hockey team. These, uh, I, we stumbled upon this at the thrift store and beautiful jersey i mean it's just fantastic but it had some stains on it you know Man. so i work like a dog uh with me and a half a bottle of stain remover and just washed it several times because this stuff is all washable and i washed it several times and i pretty much got all of it out you and know it's 2xl it was... too which is always good the hockey stuff the bigger the better yes <laughs> really because they wear because <laughs> you're freezing to death if you've ever been to a hockey game you're freezing to death yeah. and if you do actually play like you know, out in the street, yeah. or something. you got any equipment on? You definitely yeah, need a little you, bigger. You see these guys; they got three sweatshirts on and a hockey yeah. jersey over it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, this was I don't even. Yeah, this know. is interesting. Now we did a little research on Ezra Fitch, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. You've heard of, but Ezra Fitch was actually the Fitch part of Abercrombie Fitch. Yes. So. Um, and there's a line of Ezra Fitch clothing, yeah. I guess, that we didn't, we weren't really aware didn't know. of. Didn't know, had to look it up. you know about it, but we didn't. But, the reason uh, I grabbed it was because of the cashmere. Yeah, cashmere is, is good. So. Yeah, but you got to make sure, again. 100% cashmere, it's got dry cleaning tags on it. Exactly, well cared for. Yeah. No one's tried to throw it in the washer and the dryer. Um, cashmere, wool, any of those things that you, it, it's wise to put your measurements in your listings just to save you the aggravation going forward, we we need to learn better from this. Yeah. So people look at this, and you know, it's hard to determine really what size, if, if it's proportionate to what it's supposed to be at this point. Yeah. This is actually you know, a large, but that could be too you know, small if it's shrunk up if, to the years. Yes, it one, one or wrong washing and it becomes your son's. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. So put, put your size measurement, and it's pit to pit and from shoulder to hem. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. And also, wool, check it for holes because oh, yes. they get uh, mossy. Love wool. Yep. And it's continuing the sports theme, and another majestic, majestic Padres um, jacket here. And so, where do we get this one at? At our thrift store. It was a Goodwill, right? Yeah. So. Exactly. Majestic's a name you'll see in sports a lot. Uh, it's a thermo base, also like the other shirt we just showed. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and um, there this we go. This is a jacket-like type of thing. It's got a nice, a nice warm jacket, and you yeah. know, 
And again, sports teams, people, people are, are loyal. loyal to them. Yeah. yeah. And this was a dollars. small, which usually yeah. I don't buy those, but I we got uh, we got a good price on this. We might have got this half price. Harley Davidson. You really can't go too wrong with Harley Davidson stuff as long as you get it at the right price. You don't right. want to spend tons of money for it. But this one had a location. They almost all have a location. Yeah, exactly. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Wyoming. It's a good uh, location. Um, 2XL. It's a good size. Got the official Harley tag in it. So, yeah, definitely pick those up. I mean, you never know it. where people have gone and they might have lost it. Their wife. Got bleach on it, you know. And our thrift store has been trying to be slick with these Harley yes. shirts. T-shirts cost a dollar ninety nine, but they try to put them in with the regular shirts and put little tags on them and charge four ninety nine for the five ninety nine for them or whatever. And so. they do that up in in the Nashville district. They actually individually price everything, so you'll see the higher prices. Our thrift store, they might hang them in a place, but generally the clerk will ring them up as a T-shirt because that's what they are. They're a T-shirt. Yeah. Well, we don't want to get the clerks in trouble. <laughs> but, I mean, they're T-shirts. They're just T-shirts. That's what they are. Doing this this honor. Speaking of sports, here we go with the Ralph Lauren Goff. Yeah. And RLX is Ralph Lauren Sport. These are golf shorts, you know. Again, you know, we bought them for four ninety nine because they were short one shorts. Of our, one of our uh, viewers, uh, I think, I, I'm going to say your name wrong. I'm sorry. My journey is not your journey, but that's the the gist of the name. Uh, we put your put your first name in the comments so we can call you by your first name. That'd be cool. Uh, but anyway, they were they were telling us about kind of the the pecking order of the Ralph. Oh, Lauren the Ralph stuff. Lauren, yeah. Because yeah. so, so she... there's all kinds of different versions of yeah. Ralph Lauren that so. that cost more or less. Or but these were free. Um, these because. We bought them for four ninety nine, and I found a twenty dollar bill in the pocket when oh, I brought yeah, them home. Yeah, yeah, there's a video of that actually. Yep. We, uh, so um, yeah, I was. Yeah. It was a, I think it was the Tip Tuesday, yeah. Tip Thursday yeah. video rather that that's got the where we picked these up. So we made twenty dollars on them before we got them home. Yeah, and then yeah, we sold exactly. them for what twenty dollars, right? It was something like that, twenty nine dollars. Yeah, so, exactly. Fifty bucks on that. One. I mean, I was like, I thought. What I was feeling in the pocket was a tag, you know, one of the tags and everything. And it had been washed and everything with the $20 bill. So that was pretty crisp and it was yeah. all folded up, you know. So, cool. yeah, so we came out ahead. And these are Burton snowboard boots. Now, this is something that these things were heavy. Very. And huge. Yep. And, I mean, they were just, uh, but they were like brand new looking. Great shape. I mean, and, and this kind of stuff, you don't want to get it if it's worn out. I mean, I would just wouldn't even want to mess with this stuff. You know, right. Yeah. Generally, I mean, right? I, we had to look this up because some of the versions of Burton, the more, this is kind of like a vintage version of it. You mm -hmm. know, these aren't the, the newer ones are all lightweight and this and that. These are the rugged ones. Look at the tread though. It's yeah. like points on it there. Yeah. So no and they're, uh, they have a suede and a leather. And a little and, bit worn there. Yeah, I mean they've they've been worn because they're yeah. snowboarders, you know. But uh, this this we didn't know. I didn't know what they would sell for, but I think we took an offer for sixty nine mm -hmm. or sixty five. I think somewhere in that neighborhood. But yeah. we paid seven ninety nine. All boots are seven ninety nine. You know, so you have to look it up. You know, you just I mean, trust me, I didn't want to, but I couldn't walk by them without looking it up. Yeah. <laughs> so. And, they, and they, I, when I shipped them, I think they were like seven pounds, eight mm -hmm. pounds, something yeah. like that. Maybe, maybe more. But anyway, right. But yeah, that's why it's twelve. To ship it to, to myself. Ship it to myself would be twelve dollars <laughs> yeah, and thirty exactly. cents. So, yeah. yeah. And it's usually like to put that in perspective, it's usually about seven dollars to ship to yourself. You know, right. For and for amount. normal, yeah. yeah. And you know, we're for pretty. We pounds. try to weigh everything when we do our listing, and we try mm -hmm. to make sure we're really accurate on mm -hmm. on our thing. Good old Clarks. Plain old Clarks, yeah. you know. It, the venerable Clarks. The slides really are a consistent seller, but you're just not going to get a ton of money for them. No. And you want to make sure there's decent, um, you know, that they're not worn and at, on the bottoms. Because people really wear Clarks to death because they are a comfort shoe. Yeah, I think one of our viewers, too, commented about the Clarks. She said, uh, Barb Zook, if you're out yep. there, hey, Barb. Uh, we, uh, we, um, you had said that you bought some Clarks. So let us know in the comments how you did with those. Uh, we'd love to see how that, uh, you, you said you were going to start selling shoes and yeah. that kind of thing. So yeah, be kind of cool Clarks to see how I mean, Clarks are consistent sellers, especially these kind of slides. Yeah. I mean, and they, the blues, the blacks, all of those, but you're looking at a 24 to $29 sale. Yeah. So what, it, and we charge shipping. So yeah. 
whatever you're buying them for, you got to so use you, it from there. Yeah, you don't keep them for a long time, but you don't make a lot of money. So, so. This is just an odd brand of shoe. Came across it. They looked unique. I looked them up and said, huh, people actually buy these. So what is Pikachu's or? <laughs> Picolinos. <laughs> never heard of it. I took an offer for $24 on these, you know, just to, to make them go away. It's, you know, sometimes you buy things to test it. You know, so these these had some wear on the soles and so forth. But they were very interesting shoes. Yeah, kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. Right. Oh, of cool. my gosh. <laughs> Attention, Kmart shoppers. <laughs> this is a Kmart disco shirt from yes. back in the day. It is and, as uh, polyester as it could possibly be. Yeah, 100% so. polyester. This is maybe not as old as it could be, but I don't know. It's made in Korea, so seventies. It's seventies. It's got to yeah. be the seventies. One hundred percent polyester, the good stuff. And yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to. It was skimp just skimp on the polyester. <laughs> it was so weird. We had to buy it. So yeah. and you know, and somebody again, bought it. I mean, if somebody's staging a play or going to a seventies show theater or theater stuff, you know, I mean, doing a seventies night or something. Yes, absolutely. You know, you know I mean. It, it's just, you just don't know. And I mean, like I said, you wear it. Uh, sometimes you, you got to take a chance, <laughs> you know. You wear it in your pinto. But we got $35 or, uh, for yeah. that shirt. Yeah. I mean, I mean, seriously. So, you know, it's worth picking up the way we, I, I, sometimes we'll just pick up stuff. Like this we picked up just because we had no idea we would really sell it or not. No, I mean, it was know, just was unique. Like, yeah. And we said maybe somebody would yeah, want that, want you know, so. yeah. This is another very vintage, 1993. Yeah. This is the old type of logo, and the, there you are. There's 1993 yep. there. Yep. And an old Miami t-shirt, single stitch. And people love this stuff, you know. So Salem Sportswear is, uh, you know, one of the... But diehard fans want this unique yep. stuff. Miami, the Cowboys, the Steelers, those teams, Miami. you know, I never yes. really... You know, that, that, that no matter how bad a year, and they had some bad years, and especially Miami for the last couple of years. But it doesn't but, matter. But, uh, yeah, they'll they'll still sell. So Yep. And, uh, Got $30 for a $1.99 investment. Yep. Yep. And these are Skechers Shape-Ups. These are women's Skechers Shape-Ups. Again, the all-black Skechers seem to sell a little bit faster than the others because they can wear them to work. So a lot of waitresses and stuff. These, the Skecher Shape Up Work ones are slip resistant. Yeah. They, um, they, they, on the bottoms, they have a slip resist. So they're, everybody can wear them at restaurants and places like that. And these are in great shape. Yeah, real so, good shape. Yep, and there's that slip resistant sole, which you'll see that on the bottom of yeah. like, you know, um, shoes for cruise. So, you know, Skecher has that, you know, so you'll see that. Yeah, it's so. kind of a different kind of pattern. Yes. And it really is slip resistant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a pair of those about tripped and killed myself. <laughs> so, but a size 10, great size. All righty. All right, well, um, if uh, this is not part of a NASA space suit, <laughs> this I is swear. actually a pair of Calvin Klein. Um, well, let's let's get the correct name here. Silver metallic high top mirror men's mm -hmm. shoes sneakers rare, and they were rare. They are rare, and they were so rare we had them for about two years. Forever. <laughs> they were the only ones we had, and yeah. uh, we kept them for a while. But uh, but we they took did. a good offer on these. We took an offer on them. What did we get for them? Thirty nine. Uh, something, something, like something like that. I mean, first offer it came in, I took on it because when you've had something for two years. Yes. You're either going to end up doing one or two things. You're either going to sell it for cheap or give it to Goodwill. Right. You know? so, yeah. so you might as well so. just get some money. But yeah, this looks like something, you know, like Michael Jackson could have done some moonwalking But these things were something. in excellent, <laughs> excellent shape. And yeah, that's the name shape. of the shoe is a Felipe, whichever, whatever. They, but if you yeah. look at the, the bottoms of the shoes, there's like no wear. Yeah. I mean, these were... These are just plain crazy, but... Hard to they, believe somebody didn't wear these. I'm telling you, but... <laughs> But, you know, again, when you see something that you've never seen before, you know. Yeah, yeah. and probably never see those probably again. Probably not. We'll, we'll no. probably keep walking by them next time. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this brand. I mean, this particular shoe. Yeah. Um, Calvin Klein shoes in general probably aren't really no, anything not. to write home no. about. But we picked them up because they were silver. And we figured somebody's got to want some silver shoes. And, and we sure were, enough. we've probably been doing this maybe five months when mm -hmm. I bought those. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, this is early, early, early. So we have a little bonus 
a little bonus here about our inventory system. Our inventory system, a lot of people have these A, B, C, D, E, F, G bins. I don't understand that. Uh, we number our bins one through whatever. Numbers are infinite. I'm a database programmer, so I mean, you know, it's kind of the way I think. And uh, all every single item we get, we actually put into a little program that that stores gives it. Yeah, you know, we just give it a number. Everything has a number. Yeah, and it's a unique. We started number. at one. This number will never be used again ever in our inventory. If our numbers get up to ten million, that still we won't recycle this number. So it's always we can always track this thing. So this was number 700 or something. We started with about 36 because yeah. we had a few tests that we ran out. Right. So we so this is in the first 700 shoes we bought. Now to put this in perspective, we're currently listing at about 3,800 right now. 3,600. 3,600. 3,600. So, so we're at 3,600. So we bought 3,600 shoes since we started this journey. 3,600 shoes okay. and clothing. Yeah. And this was number 700. So that's right. early in the process. So, yes. And the first batch we bought was 40 of them. So we bought the first 40 shoes in one, in one, one swoop. One swoop. So, so yeah. So anyway, just a little side note there about our inventory and stuff. But the reason we do that is so we can track this shoe wherever it goes. If it gets returned, we know what bin it's going to go, you know, what, what bin it's assigned to. We assign it to bins, and bins are you know numbered one through whatever you know I, if you if you have more than 26 bins you know you're going to have to double your letters and if you're you, AA12 if you do, we have 80 mm -hmm. bins right now so you would almost be at three letters maybe four letters AAA yeah. And I can look at my shelves and know where number 56 is. It's right, right in the middle between 80 and 1. Exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah. But I don't know where ABBA is. You know, yeah. I, I can't yeah. work that way. So anyway, that's just my little rant on that. But I think somebody started doing that on the Internet, and everybody sort of followed suit. But and when we pull shoes, we'll say, oh, yeah, you know, there's like whatever. space in here in this bin. And we... You know, we just kind of put a little note on the bin that that has room. And the yeah. next time we photograph, we just throw it in it and assign it to that bin. Yeah, and we don't, because of our workflow, we don't necessarily do our bins. But we'll do another video on our bin system some other time. We'll, we'll kind of digress in there. But but anyway, um, hope you enjoyed our video. Um, yeah. This has been our What's Sold. And um, thanks for watching.